Good morning, y'all. Happy Vlogmas Day 4. My name is Sonali, and if you don't know me, then you probably aren't subscribed. So go ahead and do that, and make sure your bell notifications are on so you get notified for every video, because I'm posting daily content around here. This morning, I worked out because it was hair washing day, so I actually just played around with my Dyson Airwrap again, and I used like the smaller barrels for the curling thing, and it it looks a little crazy, so I like put it in a hair tie, um, a ponytail, because I was just like, maybe it'll like relax a little bit. Um, but today, obviously it's Friday. I don't work for my job on Fridays. So that means it's a content day, but then my dad is actually home and he asked me if I wanted to go run errands. And I was like, okay, well, might as well, because I'm not really doing anything. And, but then I looked outside and it's raining and I literally just did my hair. Let me show you guys what it looks like actually. I mean, it doesn't like look horrible. But I just want it to die down like a little bit, you know? I think it's going to be really pretty when it's like a little bit chill. <laughs> but for now, it's a little too like Shirley temple for me. I just wish my hair was a little bit longer, like literally like right under my boob, because I think it would look so pretty with these curls. Also, the smaller barrel did take a lot longer to use because it got less hair. <laughs> And so that was kind of annoying. It's currently five o'clock. I really don't even know where the day went. I went to go do errands with my dad. Then we had lunch at Jinya Ramen. And I honestly think Ramen Tatsuya in Austin is better, but it was still really good. I have leftovers, so I'm looking forward to that. After that, I came home and I worked on the vlog that I filmed yesterday, but I still haven't edited it all the way through and like published it. So I still need to do that. And Ryan gets off of work at six. So we're going to hang out and probably watch Desperate Housewives and maybe get something to eat. But I don't really have too much content for today's vlog, so I thought I would go over some of my current favorites because I haven't done a favorites video in so long. And I also thought it would be perfect for you guys to hear some of my favorites in case you guys wanted to ask for something for Christmas because I know every parent right now is probably asking you what you want for Christmas. So let's just get right into it. Also this morning I used the Dyson and this is what it looks like when it like had fallen a little bit. But I honestly think I prefer the bigger barrel just because it looks like more of like that blowout look. The first thing I've been loving right now is my Splits 59 flared leggings. I think they're called the Raquel High Waisted Flare Leggings, something like that. I'll link everything down below that I'm going to be talking about. For some reason, when I wear these, it makes me feel more fit than I am just because they're so flattering, but they're also perfect for lounging because the material of them, I don't know how to explain it. And I haven't gotten any Lululemon like leggings in the recent years, so I don't know if they compare to the newer like materials but like the ones I have had in the past don't even compare to these like flared leggings I just can't explain it but you guys gotta trust me right now they're obviously coming back into style and these pair of specific flared leggings are a bit pricier so this especially would be a perfect thing to add to your Christmas list I want to talk about my foundation that I've been wearing ever since the Sephora sale so it feels like it was really recent but I think it was kind of a long time ago but I have been wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation and then I also set it with the pressed powder that they have and I swear it literally makes me look like I have no pores and my skin is literally like a porcelain doll and I will admit that I do have pretty good skin to start with but the days I do have that textured skin like it doesn't really come off like that especially if you're not really looking so close up but also I would say photographs so well like there was this other girl that I recommended it to and I actually took her photos for I think it was like holiday minis and after I sent her the edited photos she was like oh by the way like I tried that foundation I was actually wearing that day and it really looked so good it made her look flawless too so highly recommend this foundation and powder duo again it's the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless foundation and setting powder that's the pressed powders. I've recently become obsessed with Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, I made a huge order like I would say like two months ago now and I literally wear every single thing I got like on the daily. Um, today I'm wearing the jeans that I'm going to be talking about a little later but right now I want to talk about their bodysuits. Seriously all of their bodysuits are such good quality. I love that all of them are like that thick material especially the ribbed ones they're obviously a little bit thicker and they're kind of like that elastic material too so they make your boobs look good and I don't know I just could not say enough good things about their bodysuits. So first I highly recommend to go just check out their sales section because there's probably always something in the sales section but also go ahead and check 
check out my Abercrombie and Fitch haul. I literally went crazy and bought so much from them because I just love that they're, you know, going in a different direction. They don't really have like their logos all over stuff anymore. So it's like definitely more like on the basic side, which you can never have enough basics. So highly recommend their bodysuits. And then another favorite of mine are the specific jeans that I'm wearing today, um, which are the Bree Shepherd X Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. These are a collab with a blogger I follow, and her name's Free Shepherd, obviously. And they just fit so well. I feel like I always wear them in my TikToks, and half the comments are like, where are those jeans from? So I wanted to throw them in here because Abercrombie and Fetch jeans are always on sale. But again, it's not like they're 20 bucks, so it's a good thing to put on your Christmas list. My next current favorite I used this morning during my workout, it is the Bala Bangle wrist weights, and they can actually be ankle weights too. Um, but I usually just wear them on my wrist to do like my little toning arm workouts And I personally have the two pounders which are like $20 more than the one pounders But I personally think it's worth it to get the two pound ones because I feel like having just two pounds like in total wouldn't like do too much for me And I'd probably have to do more reps which means I would have to take more time in my workout which I'm not about like I need an efficient workout that's super fast um, and these are just, first of all, so aesthetically pleasing and they do have more colors in the one pound ones, which is so annoying because I really wanted the tan color, but I, I just like needed the two pounds and they're just so like, it's just such a smart idea to just have them on your like wrists. You don't have to like hold anything. You don't have to worry about weights falling on your feet or anything. Um, and you can like wear them on walks and just like literally you can do so much with them. So definitely go check out their Instagram because they obviously post like how you can wear them and like how you can use them. Um, so these are perfect for like, especially at home workouts. I feel like literally majority of us are doing at home workouts right now. So this would be a perfect first investment into your new year's resolution. I know a lot of you have been asking me to do like low carb videos and I just am not doing it right now and like I'm in a weird period of time where I'm at home with my family and I'm in between holidays like I'm just not going to do low carb right now because all of my like basic low carb stuff is in my apartment at home and I do not want to buy all of that again because it does get expensive especially if you want to make that investment into like all the low carb for example I had like all the low carb like sweeteners and syrups and like pancake mix and stuff like that so that stuff is not very affordable, I will say that. Um, but I will try to do more of that in the new year because I want to kind of get back into the low carb lifestyle and overall just get a little bit healthier in the new year. Next up is my North Face puffer jacket. This is a staple in my winter wardrobe, especially last year. Like that's the only coat I had because I went to college in Orlando, Florida where I definitely did not need a jacket. So I had to buy that one last year. I bought it at the outlet actually, um, but I will link it down below. It's like a specific style of jacket I know they have like a couple of those down like uh, puffer jackets but I will link the specific one that I have because it's just like the basic one and it seriously is so perfect when it's super cold because it's like almost like I don't know if it's windproof but it feels like that material so it's perfect if you want like a more practical jacket but now that I have that practical jacket I can get more like fashionable ones so I just actually got one from Express and I got it on Black Friday and it's on its way so I'm really excited to kind of try that one out um, but yeah that North Face puffer has saved my butt like so many times so I know it's only been like what four days with it but a new favorite of mine is definitely my Dyson Airwrap. I feel like I talk about it a little too much now, especially on the vlogs, but I just feel like it's really worth it, especially like the first time I did it. Like I said, I don't really like the smaller barrel, so like, just don't look at me today. But the first time I did it, I did a whole like first impressions video, so I will link that down below if you guys are interested. It was Vlogmas Day 1. I was seriously so impressed with the way it looked when I first had it done, and the next morning when I like slept on it, it was still like pretty perfect, especially because like I went to the dry bar once and like my curls and like the volume literally just fell like instantly when I got home. So I was kind of expecting the same to happen, but honestly, a lot of the body really did stay. I know a lot of people are asking about like the Revlon ones, will I still be using those? And personally, I don't think I will be just because this one does have that round brush attachment. So there's no need to, and I want to kind of like simplify my hair tools because 
there's just way too many, <laughs> like so many at home, especially back in Austin. But do I still recommend the Revlon ones? Of course I still do. I think they're so great, especially for an affordable option. Um, I saw like the one step as low as like 40 bucks. I think they're getting up to like 60 now, probably because of like supply and demand and like Christmas coming up soon. Um, but then there's also the $20 one, which is like the smaller one. This one is kind of random, but I did want to throw it in there because I feel like some people don't even know about this. If you guys dye your hair, like I have balayage, if you can even tell in this light. Um, my hair kind of looks a little dark right now, but you should probably get blue shampoo or purple shampoo. I personally do blue shampoo because blue shampoo is better for darker hair, but purple shampoo is better for like blondes. And basically it just like gets rid of like the brassy tones in your hair. So when I first got my hair done, the color was actually darker. So it kind of just fades over time and it kind of reveals like the brassiness. And so it just helps to like neutralize that. Like it's such a quick fix. I actually let my blue shampoo like soak in my dry hair for like 15 minutes before I shower and it seriously makes the biggest freaking difference so if your hair is ever just like an orangey yellow color that you're just like this is not it fam like seriously just go run and get this blue shampoo I'll link the exact one I use and same goes for purple shampoo it pretty much does the same but I think you would have to be careful with that one because I know that blonde hair if you leave the purple shampoo in for too long it literally can turn purple or like silver I don't know how it goes my next favorite is this jewelry case that I got from a company that sent me some jewelry and I think it's so cute it's like the perfect amount of space for like all my gold jewelry that I wear on the daily like I didn't really want to bring too much jewelry home I just kind of wanted to simplify everything and right now it's a little bit messy sorry I just grabbed it off my counter um, I could definitely organize it way better than this but I just think it's so cute and it has like these little earring holes and like I put all my bracelets in this one and then you can like put your rings in here or just like stud earrings and I think it's the perfect size, first of all. This would be such a good stocking stuffer, honestly, um, because I'm pretty sure I saw it on Amazon for like $15 or under. I know a lot of people are searching for gifts to get their best friends in college and don't wanna to spend too much. I feel like that's a really good gift. All right, so next up are my go-to sunglasses. I swear these are indestructible. I don't know how long I've had them for. I think I probably got like a new pair because I lost the other ones, but these are like a Ray-Ban dupe. I literally can't see myself because it's like pretty dark, but I think they're so cute and they go with any outfit, I swear. Um, and these are from Amazon, so affordable. Again, another good stocking stuffer and just like a gift that you can give one of your best friends. And then this is another kind of like stocking stuffer gift. This is perfect for all the people that love taking selfies or talking on their Instagram stories or just like literally anything. If you're a content creator, you like needed this yesterday. But basically you just like clip it on your phone and it's like a mini ring light. It's so cute and it has three settings. So this one I'm going to say is the white one. Never mind. That was the yellow one. This is the white one. And then this one is like the more orange one. So... It's perfect because I'll use this, especially when I'm in my bathroom at home and I have to film sponsored content. I just like want the lighting to be more even on my face. So I'll use this ring light and it's perfect because obviously your phone like has better quality when there's more light. So like my quality even looks better. So highly recommend this. I never know if I'm like repeating myself too much, but if I am, I guess that means I just really genuinely love all these products, which I do. Ryan gets off of work at 6 p.m. and I don't know where we're gonna eat tonight, but I think we're gonna go eat out. I feel like I'm not even that hungry right now, but I also need to post this freaking vlog before I do that. So I'm gonna talk to you guys later, post this vlog and just get all that work stuff done so I can spend time with him. Ryan's here. And he wants to show you guys his outfit because he loves his outfit. Mr. Fashion Blogger. This is Kurt from Lululemon, Allie's Beach, an undershirt from Target, Target pants, on Cloud X shoes, sporty, interesting. <laughs> Can you tell them where my shit is from? Do you know? This is from Boohoo. This is from Abercrombie. This is from Princess Polly. Yeah. Princess Polly, Retros Boutique. We are gonna go to dinner. 
Dinner was delicious. We went to Home Goods after, and unfortunately, the mirror did not fit in his car. So we're gonna go back. Like I think they're gonna hold it for me for like three days or something. But now I'm like craving something sweet and I just remember that I got these Yasso sandwiches in the mail today and Yasso is actually sponsoring today's vlog. I'm very familiar with Yasso's frozen Greek yogurt bars, but they actually just came out with sandwiches, Greek yogurt sandwiches. So we're going to try all three of these flavors. We have vanilla bean, um, peanut butter sandwiches, which I think might be Ryan's favorite. And then we have mint chocolate chip. Is, is the bird like... Mimicking the alarm. Probably. Because it, the alarms are like off. <gasps> <laughs> Shut up. It's pretty good. Not too bad. Are you running out bad? It's kind of annoying. I love the cute little messaging on it. Here, you try this one. I'll try that one. This is what it looks like. Mint chocolate chippy goodness. Okay, ready? Peanut butter. Better than a Reese's cup. <laughs> These are so good. Do you like the peanut butter? Can I try yours? Mmm. You like that? Oh, that's really good. Very holiday. So I've been trying to eat healthier. It's been on a diet a little. Mm -hmm. And these are actually not bad for you really, are they? I think. 100 calories for one. All right, so this one, vanilla bean, 100 calories for one. Peanut butter is 140. And mint chocolate chip is 120. I'm gonna give vanilla bean a try since it's only 100 calories. Vanilla bean's actually really good. I think I like it more than mint chocolate chip, and usually I like more toppings, but I think this is actually really good, and plus, better for me because it's less calories. My favorite thing about Yasso is that their frozen Greek yogurt is actually really creamy, not icy at all, so you really can't tell the difference. So if you're interested in trying these Greek yogurt sandwiches out, you can find them at select targets, or you can shop at yasso.com slash shop. I just changed into my comfies. It's time to take the makeup off. Ryan and I are gonna watch Desperate Housewives. We're literally on season eight, which means we're on the last season. So we're gonna try to finish it over um, this break while we're home. But there's like a lot of episodes in this season. Actually, like all the seasons have like more than 20 episodes, I think. I feel like all older shows had so many episodes, but now shows these days, like especially on Netflix, they have like seven and I'm just like, why? There's this Netflix show that I really like called, I think it's Dream Home Makeover. It's with the people from Studio McGee. And I guess I didn't, I didn't really know like what that was until like I watched the show, but I've definitely probably seen all of their pictures on Pinterest. I take my makeup off with these things. They're the Olay Daily Facial Wipes. It just kind of forces me to actually wash my face with water and make sure everything's off, even though this doesn't really get everything off. So then I usually go in with this Pixie Glow Tonic, but it's not like every night I do this. It's like just the, the nights that I really want to feel really clean. Tonight's one of those nights. I really want to get that good clean because I'm breaking out a little. I think it's like hormonal little bumps of whatever. There's still some shit in my face. So since we are getting ready to watch our favorite show right now, I am going to make today's question of the day. What is your favorite TV show at the moment? Like what are you guys binging? Is it on Netflix or Hulu or is it on Amazon Prime? Like where can I watch it? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I feel like after season eight, I'm gonna have such a hard time picking another show to binge because this one has taken up so much time. And like, especially during quarantine, everyone was like, oh, watch this, 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 and this. I'm like, but I'm still on Desperate Housewives. Like, I don't have time to watch anything else. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about my current favorites. And if you guys are interested in trying those Yasso bars, remember that you can shop them at yasso.com shop. And then they're also at select Target stores. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.